It's very early, uh, November 22nd. Wanted to do a follow-up video to Dan Schabel's interview with Gary V. Very interesting. Had me uh, scared for a moment, and then I thought about some stuff and felt better. Let's take a uh, look at the interview first, and then uh, we'll talk about it. I'm not sure. I'm incredibly positive. My big bet is CryptoPunks, just given the nature of its status of establishment. Um, what about like IP, like, you know, like VV with NFTs and like Disney NFTs with like the, the Marvel with, and Star, the pro, Star the pro, Wars? And, the problem is peop, I come from a collecting background, so I'm too yeah, smart. Yeah, me too. This. Good. So you know Promise. this. Good. <laughs> so you know this. Not every, not even close to every Spider-Man has value. What about the first ever Spider-Man NFT? Of course. The question becomes though, which one, right? Maybe like versus on-chain versus what if Solana wins the day in 12 years? Then it's gonna be the first Solana Spider-Man, not the first ETH, right? So we're too early. And, uh, his response was a little bit scary to me, but then I gave it some more thought. Um, so here, here, here's my thinking. Uh, number one, he is a collector. Uh, Gary Vee is a collector. I'm a collector. We're all collectors now. And he's right. Once there is a glut of a million collectibles, you know, which ones are going to be the most important? And he mentioned uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And there are a ton of Amazing Spider-Man comics. The first appearances, and I've talked about this before, the first appearances of characters are important and the key moments. Then he mentioned that uh, they talked a little bit about uh, first appearances for Vivi, and he said he mentioned some other, like Solana, some other chains, some other that uh, possibly could be the dominant chain going forward. And then people would consider those, you know, Disney products that were minted there to be the first appearance. And I think he's wrong. Uh, it's difficult for me to tell somebody who has as much clout as Gary Vee that I think he's wrong, but I think he's 100% wrong. And this is why, as a collector, at least from the comic book perspective, um, an equivalent way of thinking about things would be like different publishers. Or an equivalent way to be th thinking about things would be perhaps uh, it's not canon. So I can think of a ton of examples where collectors still feel like the uh, comic that was not canon or was produced by a different publisher, but because it was first... And when I say first, I'm talking about date. It is considered the first appearance and holds the most value. Now, there are other exceptions the other way, too. But for the most part, that's what happens. The first example is uh, Jane Foster Thor. Spoiler alert. Where Jane Foster turns into Thor. That first appearance in continuity. I have that comic. It's actually being graded right now at CGC. I'll put a picture up here. And I said, oh, this is going to be worth a ton of money. And it actually is worth quite a bit of money. But... The What If comic, which came out before, is actually the go-to and is worth even more because it came out first. Okay, the second uh, example would be, you may or may not be know, but there's a new Predator uh, show coming out. This is the first Predator comic. This is from Dark Horse, not Marvel, not DC, and it is considered the first uh, Predator comic, and of course, is value that it's such. Now, Marvel has since purchased this. If they produce, uh, um, they pr they have purchased the Predator IP. So now, if they produce a Predator comic, this one goes is valueless. No, this will always be considered the number one, the first appearance of Predator. What an awesome cover, right? And um, and so it. I think what he was saying that if things so. Let's just pretend later on there was a different blockchain and Disney did mint uh, NFTs. It, I mean, they'll have value, but not like these first ones. Not like these first ones. I'll just give you one example. This is the alien's first appearance in comics. Uh, another cool cover. And uh, also from Dark Horse, uh, which is a different publisher than you might have heard of if you're not as uh, into comics like myself. Anyways, that's my thoughts. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you all soon.